welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing some new products that I've tested out. Some were sent to me, some I purchased. I'm going to share whether I think it's worth it or just take a hard pass on it. Really quickly before I get started, if you're new here, I share makeup, skincare, fashion. If that's something that interests you, please consider clicking that button below and hitting that subscribe button. I shared this on my Instagram story. I'm I have a new camera that I'm working with, so please be patient with me. I'm going to get a monitor in here, which is going to help me a lot. We have another monitor in our house, which I didn't know that we had. So I'm going to put it in here hopefully this weekend. It's going to be able to help me. So when I'm filming, if I get out of focus or whatever, I'll be able to tell. I'm, like I said, I'm working on the lighting. I hope it's not too bright. I can't tell from far away. And I'm working on my sound and everything because I want to bring you guys the best content. So thank you for your continued support it's because of you that I was able to do this. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about my lipstick. <laughs> so I decided to uh, try some different lipstick. You guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury and most of my lipstick is from her. But I wanted to try a different brand, something different. So I decided I was just scrolling on Nordstrom because that's where I purchased most of my makeup. One of the reasons I love shopping there is that if I don't like something, I can return it and it's a no hassle and I really appreciate that. So I picked up two lipsticks. The one that I'm wearing right now is 535 Pretty Vein. And by the way, this is the Pure Color Envy lipstick in, in its cream. So it's number, this is number 535. You guys know normally I don't like bright colors on me. I just don't like them, but this color, I actually like it on me. I know some of you guys are not gonna like it and you don't have to share that in the comments, okay? When I ask for your opinion, I appreciate it. When I don't, I really don't care. <laughs> yeah, um, but I really like this color because I just think it's a fun red, fun pop of color and I don't feel uncomfortable wearing it. Obviously, I'm not gonna wear it out anywhere because can you even imagine this? After I took a mask off, I would look like a hot mess. But I just, like I said, I just wanted to have, find, find a nice, fun, bright color that I could wear sometimes. And this one's really, really pretty. The other one that I picked up, and by the way, it's really comfortable as well. Really comfortable to wear. Um, is it as long-lasting as my Charlotte Tilbury? I feel like that one's a little bit more long-lasting, but I don't feel like this is evaporating off my lips. I don't feel like I have to, like some lipsticks are like that. Some I just feel like I have to keep on putting it on. And as far as red, you know how it is. You have to be careful with it. I gave you a tip on, before I get to this color, on using a wax liner. You can use that before you apply red lipstick. You can also powder your lips before you put it on. Use a, a lip pencil. I used the Charlotte Tilbury No Walk of Shame with this, and I think it works really good. I fill it in a little bit, and then I apply the color on top. So that helps. And then you can also use a little bit of that, um, I don't have it in front of me, the, the uh, Anastasia Color Corrector Pencil that you can use for a concealer. I shared that before in videos. So you can even use that to clean it up and to help keep it on. Red is really tricky, I will admit that, but I'm not gonna wear this every day. It's just like, just a fun color to wear. So the other color that I got is the number 291. It's called Nude Rouge. So pretty. Most of my nude lipsticks are like on the peachy tone, but this one's a really, really pretty pink. Oh, I love it. How did I not discover Estee Lauder lipsticks a while ago? I'm going to speak for myself when I say this. Sometimes I get caught up and I just really enjoy something from a brand and that's all I want to use and then I don't try different things. So um, I wanted to try something different and I'm so glad I did because I really, really enjoy those lipsticks. And look at this. Like, I like that. I like that, that magnetic thing. It's just really nice packaging, really nice lipstick. So if you're looking for a new lipstick, I would recommend, I definitely would recommend those. Really, really nice. So let's get into what I am wearing. C New 4, C New 4 is the name of the company. They reached out to me. They're a jewelry designer and they reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in trying out any of their jewelry. I went on over and checked out their site and I said, absolutely. If a company's gonna send me something, it's gotta be something that I'm interested in because I'm gonna share it with you. I wanna be interested in it. This is not sponsored by the way either. They gifted these to me, but this is not sponsored. What I love about their jewelry is it's affordable jewelry and that's, that's one of the things I wanted to create. Affordable jewelry that's still beautiful and classic 
and jewelry that you can wear dressed up or jewelry that you can wear with a pair of jeans. And you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that's what I'm about. That's what I like. That's the style I have. I like I like things I can wear if I want to kick it up a notch or if I just want to wear jeans and a t-shirt, I'm going to look all pulled together. One of the pieces that I'm wearing is this layered necklace. Really, really pretty. I love pieces like this that are layered because if you don't want to think about what, what you're going to wear you can just grab a piece like this and throw it on you know what i mean with an outfit and you're going to look all pulled together the other thing that they sent me is this beautiful beautiful ring actually both of these rings they sent me and i like how you can layer them just really really pretty again you can be dressed up wearing this or just casual really really beautiful and then they also sent me these bracelets here that you can see. Now, I'm going to be asked, I don't wear bracelets all the time, okay? But once in a while, I'll pop on a bracelet. But it is not something I wear all the time. But this is nice, you know what I mean? Again, if you want to just kind of kick your outfit up a notch or whatever, really, really beautiful. Very well made. And the other one that they sent me is this one here. I love the chain on it. And then it's got this little gold ball at the end. And then it says love on the little charm. And I believe they have different charms. I think they can even do engraving on other pieces. So I would definitely recommend them and check them out. If you're looking for jewelry or if you're looking for a gift idea for someone, Christmas is going to be coming up, definitely would recommend them. The last thing they sent is this jewelry box. How cute is this? So it's a travel jewelry box. It's got this little snap here. It feels really, really nice. It kind of feels like it's... Um, sort of textured it's got a little bit of glitter or bling on it but it, it seems like something that if you're packing it's not going to fall apart it feels like it's well made and then when you open it up here you've got these little clips here that you can put um, hoop earrings on or dangly earrings you've got this little pocket here you've got this to put earrings on you can put rings in here and then you've got these trays and these come out so you can adjust it to the way that you want it one more thing that they sent to with with it is they sent these little cloths so if you feel like you you need you know to get fingerprints on or whatever you just kind of buff it out and shine it up they made these to last for years you have to take care of them it's costume jewelry but it's really nice costume jewelry at affordable prices so i will leave a link below they did give me a code to use and i believe it's an affiliate code i will mark it down there i will mark it down there so you guys uh see that that it is an affiliate code but i believe it is which means if you use it then i earn a small commission you guys know i always i'm upfront and honest about all that on my channel let's talk about magnetic lashes i'm not wearing them today i am wearing another a different pair and we're going to talk about that in a little bit but i was curious to try magnetic lashes because i have to wear lashes right now and i, I explained to you guys that on this eye i'm missing some lashes now here's the thing i want to explain to you guys really quickly before I started using a lash serum, I started losing my lashes and I, it was just in this area. I don't know what the deal is. It's just on this one eye in this little area, I lose lashes. That's why I started using a lash serum. Anyway, so that's why I want, I'm wearing lashes and I wanted to try the magnetic lashes. So the ones that I decided to try, the ones from Ilore, they're the Pro Magnetic Lashes. So it comes with a set of lashes, which the Target that I purchased from didn't have a big selection. I don't know if they have a better selection anywhere else. I don't know. Um, and then it comes with a lash, or the lash glue, comes with a magnetic liner. So what you do is you apply it to each eye three times. So you do one eye, and then I went to the other eye. Make sure you let it dry really good before you get to the next eye, which it dries pretty quickly. So it's not like you have to sit there for five minutes or anything. And then you just go back and forth, let it dry. Apply it, let it dry. Then you pop them on. And I will tell you that these went on great. They went on really, really well. But they were so uncomfortable all day long, I could not wait to take them off. They stayed on all day, but they were not comfortable on me at all. I just, I, they just felt heavy and I just, oh, I was just really, really uncomfortable wearing them. And I couldn't adjust them. I felt like it needed to be a little bit shorter, but I couldn't cut them because they have those little magnets on and it's not like a strip magnetic. They're little magnetic. So if I would have cut off where it was at, then it wouldn't have laid right. So um, I don't know if there's any other magnetic lashes that are better. I don't want to try the Kiss Lash ones because I've heard that that 
mag the um, eyeliner is really hard to get off and I even heard that it's hard to even get the lashes off so that's a no for me but if you have any other ones you can recommend please leave it in the comments below would love to hear from you and by the way I have shared videos on how to apply lashes you know like glue on lashes and I will try to remember to link it up there or below if you're ever looking for any videos um, even how I style my hair because a lot of people ask me that too I have different videos you can go to my home page under playlist and you can find them there you can also go to my home page and you can type in because there's that little magnifying glass on my page so if you type in you know full lashes or fake lashes or hairstyle or whatever then you'll find videos under that topic so the other lashes that I decided to try are these and I will have to link below what the number is because it doesn't say I feel like they were like number 18 or something I don't remember but I saw so many on TikTok wearing these and I thought they looked really natural looking I really like the way that they looked her lashes always look amazing I actually thought they were her own lashes um, so I decided to try them usually I don't try yeah I'm usually like a drugstore lash person because they're less expensive but these were on sale at Nordstrom. Nordstrom recently had a sale, which I mentioned in my uh, community page. So I hope that you're able to follow me on there. That's um, part of my channel here. So I mentioned it that they had a sale. I don't know if there's a sale still going on or not at Nordstrom, but they did have a lot of things that were, you know, 40% off or something like that, 20% off. So I decided to try these and I really like them. They're really comfortable. The what the style that I normally like to wear is I like to wear the ones that are shorter and then kind of wing out at the side because I feel like it kind of lifts your eyes. But I think these ones are pretty nice. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. But really comfortable to wear. I don't even know what that I'm wearing them. That's how comfortable they are. The band is invisible, so it's they're just really comfortable to wear. Laura Mercier sent me something and I shared this on my Instagram. So she sent me this um, eye makeup remover. Love it. Love it so much that I am going to start getting this after I finish my, up my Sephora. I really like my Sephora, but this one is gentler on my eyes, so I really, really like it. So I definitely would purchase that. The She also sent me this eye cream, and I need to use it for a while to give you guys my opinion. It's the Laura Mercier Illuminating Eye Cream. So I think this would be one nice one to put on right before you apply your uh, under eye concealer. I'm going to use it for a while and I'll let you know, okay? She sent me a couple of caviar sticks too, which I love her caviar sticks. I've, I have several of them already, love using them. They wear really, really well on me, love the colors. I can't say enough good things about those. And then she also sent me this mascara. This is the, it's the Caviar Volume. So because my lashes are right now, I, I can't really say how I feel about it. I've used it underneath my, um, underneath my lashes I used it. I like it, but do I love it? No, I, there's no volume because I, I can't. So I will update you guys on that. I will let you know after I use it for a little bit when my lashes get better. And then I will tell you what I think of it. But right now, I, it's really not fair to say because, you yeah. know. So I decided to pick up the Power Up Dual Face Setting Mist. So what this does is helps to set makeup. It energizes, revives skin, filters away dull, tired, stressed out complexion. It says gives you glow, hydrates, and energizes. It says use under makeup to prep skin, which I did that today. I didn't use it on top of my makeup though. Then over your makeup to set it and you can refresh it throughout the day. What I was interested in this for is I liked all the skincare benefits in that. So I thought if it goes under my makeup, it's more skincare that's on my face and I really appreciate that. I tried it over my makeup the other day. I wasn't crazy about it. So maybe if you're somebody that has really, really dry skin and you you have, but you still want a powder, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, but some people do that. I don't, I don't understand that, the powder all over and then you put the setting spray in. But if you're some, one of those people, then you may really like this. The only thing I will say is a spray on it is not oh, it's not terrible I'll put some on now oh god yeah it is terrible <laughs> so when, when like when you look at it that way it doesn't look bad but then when you do it it's like whew, yeah it's kind of I wish the sprayer was a little finer than it is um let me see does it have a little bit of a scent no I don't smell it 
I don't smell anything. I don't think there was any added fragrance, which I appreciate as well, but I would check this out. If you're looking for um, something that's going to moisturize your skin underneath your makeup and you don't want to put a cream on like I do, I still do that. I would still do both, but yeah, if you have dry skin, you might want to check that out. And, and like it says, you can kind of put it on throughout the day too, if you're feeling kind of dry. So I like that. That's a nice one. The other one that I picked up, now I actually got a sample of this at Nordstrom and after I used it and it took me a while to use it up. I think it was like maybe that big of a bottle. It took me a while to use up, but once I use it up, I'm like, I need to buy this. It has a lot of really good skincare properties in this as well. And this is from, I'm going to butcher it. This is from Amorvica, I think, from Budapest. Amorvica Budapest is what it says. It says, the queen of hungry mist. This is a bougie one, okay? I think it was $95, but I really like it. So you don't have to spend that much, but I really, really enjoy using it. It smells lovely. It has a slight rose scent to it, which I told you guys before, I'm not a big fan of the rose. But look at this. Do you see that mist? That's what I wish this was. This is a much nicer mist. This one's like it slaps you. This one's just like it's just like pixie dust on your face. Feels amazing. Feels wonderful. So I use this in the morning after I cleanse my face and then at the end of my skincare routine in the morning, then I use this. Sonita's Milk and Honey Cleanser. This says, this says it's for dry skin, but I could have swore on the box it says for all skin types too. So Freeze Beauty, Christine, sent this to me. She gifted this to me. First off, I love the smell. It smells like... It smells like vanilla, coconut honey. I don't know. It just smells wonderful. Feels great on my skin. As soon as I'm done using up my CeraVe Hydrating, I'm going to go to this. That's how much I love this. It just feels really good. It feels really, really good on my skin. It doesn't strip anything. It doesn't feel like I have a coating on after I wash my face. It just feels really, really nice. So I just use a pump. I put my hand under the faucet, get a little bit of water on it because I feel like you have to emulsify a little bit. And then I massage it in, rinse it off. Definitely would recommend. And I do have a code. I always share that. I have a code with uh, Freeze Beauty for 20% off. I have the link, I'll have the link below. I think it's Annie20 is what it is. It is an affiliate. May Love reached out to me and she sent me, uh, they sent me some products. One of the things that I tested out is the May Love Sun Protector. This is a sheer mineral sunscreen with a broad spectrum SPF of 30. So I normally would like to use something a little bit more in the 50 range, but I would still recommend this. So I didn't like it under my makeup. I have oily, dry combination skin, and I just felt like on the days that I wore this, I felt like my skin was a little extra oily. But on days when I'm not wearing my makeup, I would definitely wear this, especially if I'm in the house, around the house, I feel like it's fine. But when I'm out in the sun, I definitely want to make sure that I'm wearing a 50. So I think you would really enjoy it. If you have oily skin, then you're not going to like this under your makeup or oily, dry combo. I think if you have dry skin or normal skin, you're going to love this. This is like something that everybody wants right now. I don't know why this one but you know how that is uh may love naya 10 calming serum this has uh niacinamide and zinc along with other soothing ingredients and powerful antioxidants people are loving this so i've been using this i'm going to keep using it i will let you know how i feel i'm not like using it and going oh my god i'm not like that so I'm going to keep using it and I will update you guys if I feel like after I've used it for a while, I've noticed a difference. So I will keep you updated. The last thing from them that I started to use is the May Love Hydrator, Intensive Hydration. So this has hyaluronic acid, resveratrol, and panthenol, vitamin B5 for complete hydration. So again, I will keep you guys updated. I don't feel like my skin's super dry you know i always have a little bit of dryness on my skin but it's not like super dry but i'm gonna keep using this and i will let you know how i feel about that now you guys know i shared this recently this is my new holy grail concealer i know it's ridiculous the price on it i know girl i know it's ridiculous i know it is but i love that it feels really light it conceals and it doesn't like settle under my eyes like at all so I love this one and since hearing it I know so many of you guys had said you got it and you're like love it 
but I'm always going to try some different concealers on my channel because that may be way out of somebody's price range or whatever, so I'm going to try different ones. So I wanted to try an under eye color corrector as well. What I want to tell you before I share this is you don't have to use a color corrector. Some people don't have to worry use a concealer, and girl, you are lucky. But sometimes a concealer just doesn't conceal enough, so then you have to go in with a color corrector. So usually you have that little bit of purple discoloration, so if you put a little bit of peach on there, it's going to get rid of that um, under eye uh, purple color. And then you're going to want to put a concealer on top of it just because you don't want to see that peachy color. So you want to want to get something that's going to go with your complexion and your foundation, all that. So anyway, so I wanted to try this. So this is from Bobbi Brown. This is their, let's see what the color is called. Is it just peach? It's called Bisque. And this one's called Bisque Corrector. So I really like this. You use very little of it. I actually like this one better than the Lancome one that I have been using because I feel like that one you like that one can really settle in your lines if you're not careful. So I just use my, actually my brush for my Sicily if I want to use this. And I just take this, just put a little bit on, dab it out, and then I can put that on. Usually I just wear this, but I'm just sharing. That's what I did to test it out. Okay, so really, really nice one if you're looking for a color corrector. And there's days when I just need a little bit more. I just feel like they're darker. I don't know what the deal is. So really, really like that. I definitely would recommend it. When I order from Nordstrom, one of the things I love is that you get a free sample with your, you, you know, it depends on what you order. A lot of times you'll get like a sample, like a whole big bag of samples and stuff. This was in my sample bag. And this is a Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Girl, I just I just bought a bottle of this. Okay. I had to have a bottle. I wanted a full bottle. And the reason I got it now, you're probably like, why didn't you just use up your sample first? Because it's on sale right now at Nordstrom. So I'm like, if I'm going to spend the money, I want to get it on sale. So I just picked up a bottle of this. It smells, oh my gosh, it smells so nice. I feel like... I feel like this is a scent I could wear, well, especially here in Florida, honey, because we don't have winter here, but I feel like I could wear this all year round. Really, really, mm, it's a good one. CD Lips, love their lip plumpers. I've talked about that before. I needed to pick up a new clear because I, I mean, I used it all the way up, girl. Love it. It doesn't burn, but it plumps your lips up. It doesn't dry them out. Really love it. Yes, you have to reapply, but I have to reapply all my lipstick, so it doesn't really matter. So I got this one and I got Los Angeles. So love those. Obaji sent me a couple things. One of the things they sent me was vitamin C serum. And you guys know, <laughs> with that little look, you're like, girl, you didn't do it. Yes, I did. Um, I'm not using it on my face, though. Sorry. I, no, I can't. I really love my truth treatments. So I don't want this on my face. I'm not, there's nothing bad with it. It's just I just like what that's doing for me. And my skin's looking good. That I don't want to. I don't want to mess with it. But I am using this on my neck and the back of my hands. I have a little spot here, and I've been trying to get rid of that dang spot. So we'll see if this works. This is a 20% uh, L-absorbic acid, and I'm also using it on my neck. I have a little bit of sun damage on my neck, so I'm going to try it out, let you know. Christine from um, Freeze Beauty sent me something after I ordered. I ordered a... Um, 5% retinol. So I just started using this. I've only used it twice now. I'm only going to use it once a week. I just wanted to up it. I wanted to test it out and see how it is. So many people use this and love it. They say that it really peels your skin, so I have to be careful with it. So I'm still using my 1% from Truth Treatments, but I'm going to use this one um, once a week. So one of the days that I normally would have used the 1%, I'm going to bump it up to this. And then when I use this, I'm using this. So she sent me this, and I really like this. This is the Omega-6 Healing Cream. So many people said if you mix these two together, then you don't have as much peeling, and I haven't had peeling. Now, I've only done it once a week, um, but maybe I'll eventually kick it up and we'll see. But there's so many good uses for this. Christine was sharing that her dad had surgery and has stitches, and he's been putting this on his stitches and it's like healing like super fast. So this I think is really a nice thing to have as part of your skincare routine. Um, I was watching Erin um, Nicole on her Instagram. I follow her and she was sharing the new Mario by Mario line. And one of the things 
really stuck out to me and I was like, I need to try that. So I went to Sephora last week in Disney Springs. And by the way, can I just tell you really quick, it was weird going in there because it's the first time that I've been in there since this whole thing happened. I'm not a big Sephora shopper because I felt like before you had the loud music and you had people that didn't pay attention to you, I might, I might turn around because none of that happened when I was there. I didn't have the club music going and people were there actually helping you because you can't touch anything now, so they have to help you. So that's interesting. So anyways, so it comes in this palette here. You get all these really beautiful, beautiful colors that you could totally use just as they are. But you get this. So I picked this up. This is called the uh, Master Metal Manipulator. So what you do, and this is why my palette looks gross, so no judgment. I don't clean it off yet because I just used it this morning because I'm wearing it today. <gasps> so you take this little spatula that comes with this. You lightly scrape off the color, okay? Lightly scrape off the color. It comes in here. goes in there. Then you take this and you take one to two drops of it. You take this and you mash it up. Then you can take a brush. I used my rougher brush number one, I think, two. And then I just, now in the video when you see me doing this, I use my fingers. I use my finger, but since doing it that way, I've been using a brush and I like the brush better. So I just take the brush and then you just apply it on there and it just, bam, it just kind of really brings out the intensity of it, but it also makes it long lasting. So it's, it won't come off. You just rub it and rub it and won't look. I don't want to pull on my eye, but look, there's no color. There's no, it doesn't come off. Now I'm just going to say a little negative about that. I think it's a great product. I'm so glad that I have it and I definitely would recommend it. But it does have alcohol and has alcohol and it has right after that alcohol they have Danette alcohol as well. So you know about that. So it's very, very drying. So you have to be careful if you have sensitive skin. This might be irritating for you. It might dry your eyes out. So I wouldn't recommend doing this every day. But if you wanted to have, wear a fun color and your, uh, and I believe you can use this. I haven't tried using it with a shimmer. I'll have to experiment and see if it works with a shimmer. But I thought it worked with other, like not just his brand, but you could use it with other metallics and stuff like that. So I'll have to experiment with it. But like I said, you don't want to use it, wear it every single day because it could be too drying, I feel like, for the eye area. So, if, But if you were somebody that has hooded eyes and you're like, I want to wear stuff like that, but every time I do have transfers, then you're going to love you're gonna love using this and you might want to check those out. I was ending this video and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell them about the sale. So this is really, really huge, you guys. I know that I love using rougher brushes. They gifted me several brushes, many brushes they've gifted me, but there's a sale going on and I'm gonna jump on it as well. So I just wanted to share you the details of it. It is, it's amazing the sale that they have going on. So let me read you my email. I'm going to put the details below for you guys if you want to check it out, okay? So the core collection is one of their collections that they, they're they always out of stock and they're currently out of stock and I think they're kind of holding back right now because they're going to have a sale on it. So the core set is this one right here. So you get these brushes here and then you get these eye brushes. So you get two face brushes and three eye brushes. These are all made in Japan. They're all natural hair brushes. They're beautiful. I need to clean mine again and they clean really, really well. Love these brushes. Cannot say enough good things about them. You guys know I've shared that before and I love using BK Beauty brushes, but I've just, I've, you've seen me in my videos. I've mainly been using these lately. Today they are having a store-wide 20% off sale, which I probably will have already put up in my uh, community page, but this is just for if, if you missed that. Having a 20% sale off today, and I believe that's gonna go on, it might be going on for the end of the month. It doesn't say that specifically. Um, but I'm gonna get to another part which makes me think that it is. So 20% off. So if you already have brushes, but you kinda wanna add a little bit, you know, you wanna add other brushes to your collection, this would be a great time to do it because you're gonna get 20% off the price. And then on October 12th, 
they're going to have the core collection, which is this collection right here, which is normally $168 on $80 off. So what is that? Is that $88? Okay, I can't do math like that. But so with normally $168, you're going to get $80 off, plus you're going to get free shipping worldwide. Hello? That is a really, really great price. So if you're thinking about trying these brushes, that would be a great time to, to try them. If you wanted to give them as a gift, that would be a great gift for somebody. And then on October 20th, they're going to have a holiday set. That's going to be 40% off. And the set's going to include three of their newest brushes, including the number 23, 24, 25, and the new improved version of, of the number 11 brush. I don't have any of those, so I'm, I'd like to pick those ones up. So the holiday set is valued at $216, but will be discounted to $130, which is a limited time offer, and it's going to be 40% off. Um, and then at the bottom here, it says the 20% will be um, still be available at that time, it, it looks like. So it looks like they're going to have the 20% off available on that on that as well. I don't know if everything is going to be free shipping. I don't know if the free shipping is only going to be on the uh, core collection. It doesn't really say. I guess you'll find out, you know, if you go to shop there. I'm going to leave the information that I was given above there in the description. I will put it in my community page. I will add links there. I would really appreciate it if you do decide to order anything, if you would use my links because they are affiliate links, which means if you do purchase something that I earn a small commission. You guys know I'm always upfront and honest with you guys about that. So um, would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. So I'm to make sure my microphone's on. <laughs> Excuse my stomach if you hear it growling. I have my microphone closer now, so honey, you're gonna hear it growling. And I ate breakfast. I'm just getting hungry now. Mid morning. That was a lot, you guys. <laughs> Honey, and I swear to God, if this didn't screenshot, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay, so am I dark? Do I look? I look dark. I'm working on the lighting, so does it look like my head's cut off? Y'all, I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> but these were on sale.